And what are some of the big, not mistakes maybe, but what are some of the things that when people come to you, you see time and time again and be like, mm, you know, like I wish they hadn't done that uh, to kind of, and kind of holds them back a little bit from the growth of their business when it comes to their digital marketing because there always seems to be a few kind of like common pitfalls that people fall into. Like are any of those that you've noticed across the years that seem to be consistent time and time again? Common pitfalls in regards to their website and how they're using their website for, for digital marketing or... Yeah, 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 like tying um, into their digital marketing side. Yeah, I'm trying to, this is another one, kind of a, a lot of different ways to answer that. You know, since we were talking about SEO, talking about that off the top of my head, just uh, focusing on that. I mean, the, the structure, the topology of your website is obviously important. So what is your navigation? What are your main links off of the site? If you've got something completely different, then trying to shoehorn that into an SEO strategy can sometimes be sort of dif- difficult. Also, depending on what kind of technology it's built on, um, you know, we're big advocates of WordPress. WordPress has its problems. Uh, it's not the, the perfect platform. So where people tend to run into problems with WordPress is trying to extend it too far, trying to do too much with it. Um, but as long as you're not trying to build an app in WordPress, you know, if you're building a, a fairly basic site, even, even an e-commerce experience, there's plenty of good e-commerce stores out there that are built on WordPress. Uh, but using a platform like that opens up a whole variety of options to you because of the the huge amount of plugins that they have, the environment of the ecosystem, the WordPress ecosystem is just massive. And so whatever op- marketing automation tool you might be using in your business, probably going to have support, probably going to be plugins that are native for uh, for WordPress that you can just plug in and you can start you know, hooking up forms, you can start creating landing pages and hooking up, uh, hooking up forms to that. But if you're using some proprietary technology, you have someone who coded something a raw PHP for you on <laughs> side you know for 100 bucks then like yeah you're gonna be uh it's gonna be difficult or at least it's gonna be more difficult right 